Hi Ram, good morning. Good morning Shanti. How are you doing today? I'm good Ram, thank you. So today I would like to know more about, see, if the recruiter asks a candidate, are you incorporated? So what does it mean? Can you just explain me what, what is incorporation? What is the importance of incorporation in the process, job searching process? Yeah, sure. So this is a very good uh, question. In fact, I frequently asked a question by recruiters. Mm -hmm. OK, so the recruiter asked the following question. Are you incorporated? OK, another question that they ask is, uh, can you work on T4? OK, so for all these things, uh, I will be answering uh, the queries in this video. OK, uh, in Canada, there are two types of basically there are two types of major job structures one is if you have to do an it job you can either do it as a full time job or as a contract job okay full time job means you will be joining in a company as a full time employee okay and but if the company doesn't want you to hire full time but if they want you to hire only for some specific purpose then comes the concept of a, a contract, okay? okay? But companies cannot have contract with individuals. Okay. They can have contracts only with corporations, okay? okay? So the co contract structure is always a corporation to corporation. They, they cannot have corporation to individual, okay? okay? That is how companies prefer to have which means if you wanted to have a contract opportunity in a company, then you should have a sub your own incorporation so that when you do a job with that company in a contract structure, that company can give you that job as a contract to your corporation. So that when is, you say it is on your name or it should be on my name or? Yeah, that I will explain. So that oh. I will explain going forward. Uh, so these are the two structures. One is a full-time uh, job structure where you are a full-time permanent employee of the company. And mm -hmm. another is a contract, stru contract structure where the company doesn't want you to hire for full-time, but they wanted to hire you for either six months or three months or one year, depending on what specific work that you are going to do for them. Okay. Now, again, in full-time, there are two substructures, I would say. Some companies offer you full-time permanent, which means for lifelong, you are the employee of the company till the time you retire. Or you're a full-time employee till some period. Like you can, you can have a full-time employment uh, for let's say one year or two years or three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, after that, they will decide what to do. But um, so these are the two structures. One is a full-time permanent, and another is a full-time temporary. temporary. Full permanent will not have an end date on your offer letter, uh, which means you can work in the company till the time you get the retirement age. If it is a full-time temporary, then they will specifically mention what is the end date of that full-time employment. Okay. So this is full-time permanent and full-time temporary. Okay. In contract, there are two types. Okay. One is the corporation to corporation contract. And in some cases, very, very minimal number of cases, I could see company to individual contracts are also possible. Company okay. wants to hire, but if they don't have a company, what can they do? For example, the, if company wants to hire somebody outside Canada, obviously they, go, they can't have corporation in Canada, right? Mm -hmm. For them also, there is a structure, but that structure is very, very uh, minimally used in Canada. Most of the contracts in Canada are corp to corp, incorporation contract. So if a recruiter says, are you okay with corp to corp or are you okay with incorporation or are you okay with contract structure in a C2C style, they all mean the same. C2C, corp to corp, incorporated, everything means the same. Everything okay. defines contract job. It, it, it means it's a contract job. Contract job. Okay. okay. But if it is a full time, then they will they will say, are you good with full time job, mm -hmm. or are you okay to work full time, or are you good with T four? Okay, so the so one of the term that they use for full time is T four. Mm -hmm. Okay, T four is similar to Form sixteen in India. Any full time job, if you do for any company, 
then uh, obviously when it is a full time employee they will deduct taxes from your salary yes so when they deduct taxes from your salary at the end of the year they will give you what is called as a t4 similar to what companies give you uh, as a form 16 in india so okay. people who have worked in india might uh, might be familiar with this but if you did not work in india in the past so don't worry okay and in contract we remember i have mentioned we have corp to corp and also corp to individual okay if it is a corp to corp then what they do is they will give you the same payment whatever you have worked plus hst in corp to individual then they will give whatever number of hours they will deduct the taxes also they will issue what is called as a t4a mm -hmm. any payment given by the company to independent contractors is called as a t4a so in t4a also they will deduct taxes okay in corp to corp they won't deduct your taxes because they are paying to the company company will have its responsibility of handling the taxes and on top of that they will also add hst to the invoice amount and pay you pay to the corporation so can you take one example and explain me so okay let's say for example you got a full time job in cibc okay okay let's say in cibc offer letter they mentioned you uh, you are selected as a cloud engineer in cibc it is a full time permanent position the joining date of this position is some uh, 13th of november and uh, please confirm the acceptance of this offer right mm -hmm. so in a full time job uh, you will work you are you are technically a, a, an employee of cibc now mm -hmm. so cibc will take care of you as an employee CIBC will provide all benefits what it typically provides to its employees. Okay, so mm -hmm. in, in a full time job, you'll get lots of benefits like uh, RRSP matching, like uh, medical facilities, mm -hmm. life insurance, uh, uh, casual leaves, sick leaves, uh, and also massages. You'll get vision, dental. These are all distant. Sometimes, sometimes full time employees also get shares, bonus. Okay. So, these are all the benefits that typically a full time employee, that's why full time employment is very lucrative. Even okay. though the take home salary is very less because of the benefits, it looks very lucrative. Because if you become pregnant or if you have any medical emergency, the structure of this employment will help you a lot. Okay. okay. Let's say, you got a job with full with CIBC, but not as a full-time permanent employee, but mm -hmm. they gave it only for one year. It's called as a full-time temporary. Temporary. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. In that, you are an employee of CIBC, but they may or may not give you benefits. Mm -hmm. They will give you salary. They will deduct you all the taxes, taxes, but not all the benefits are guaranteed. In this because they are hiring you only for a short period of one year two years or one and a half year depending on the strategy of uh, the company okay and uh, now let's say the third one if cibc wants to give you only a contract role hmm. not a full-time role because they want somebody an expert who can come in and work for their specific project and the project duration is only six months or one year. Why do they want to hire a full time employee? Yes. They just want to hire a person who can come and do the project and go away. In okay. such case, uh, CIBC will ask you, Hey, are you incorporated? You can say, Yes, I'm incorporated. Okay. If you have your own corporation. Okay? okay. If you say you don't have your own corporation, you can say, I don't have my own corporation. Okay. okay. If you have your own corporation, then CIBC company will pay your company whatever you have worked by adding hst oh. so your billable number of hours plus your hourly rate plus 13 percent hst is what you will get to your company account okay that's called as a contract structure c2c contract but if cibc if you say that you don't have any corporation and cibc agrees to pay you as an individual then they will treat you as an independent contractor and they will pay 
the salary number of hours into hourly rate uh, and they will also deduct taxes from that and pay you as the remaining amount in the first case cabc will issue t4 at the end of the year in second case cabc will issue t4a at the end of the year okay okay now the biggest question is can everyone have full time job is very straightforward so there is no as long as you are eligible to work you can do full time job which means citizens can work prs can work people who are on an open work permit can work rest of the people cannot work so t4 is issued to both full time permanent and full time temporary also t4 will be issued. Okay. yeah now let's take the case where the recruiters or the companies ask if you are incorporated mm. okay what if you are not incorporated okay okay so in in canada creating an incorporation is just a matter of one hour uh -huh. okay. okay if you give it to me i can do it in five minutes also uh -huh. okay but it generally it is a one hour job to get incorporated okay so my advice for all the job seekers is even if you are not incorporated okay if any recruiter or a company tells you asks you that if you are incorporated or not always tell them you are incorporated okay. even if by any chance they are uh, you are not incorporated but they are still ask you you can always say you are incorporated and after that the call is done you can go ahead and create your own corporation within one hour right so uh, the best time to create the corporation is when you get or about to get an offer mm -hmm. So because you have any registered time or anything or no? Anywhere what is that? Registered company, registered time, date. Do we get no, any follow-up question right. like is, it is recently created? No, no. Right? there won't be any question. The thing is, when companies have to pay, you need to have some legal structure in place. Whether okay. it is created 10 years ago or 10 minutes ago or 10 seconds mm -hmm. ago, doesn't matter for, uh, for, the, uh, mm -hmm. for the other party who is uh, paying you. So it doesn't matter. Okay. okay so my my point here is if at all you don't have the best time to create your corporation is just when you're about to get offer letter okay. why because in your job search you don't know whether you're going to get full-time job or a contract job, right mm -hmm. if you already created a corporation and if you get a full-time job then corporation is going to be an overhead for you mm -hmm. That's why when you are doing the job search, let the job search process happen. Even if the recruiters ask you if you are incorporated, tell them you are incorporated. Okay. Uh, but the best time to open your corporation is when you are about to get a contract job offer. If you are getting a full-time job offer, then the hassle of creating a corporation and worrying about its taxes is not there. But when you are about to get the offer letter for a contract job, that is when you should create your own corporation okay so if we get the question like are you incorporated and how you are incorporated yeah <clears throat> so recruiters in the process of uh, you know because people tell a lot of lies so recruiters will try to cross examine you with lots of tricky questions mm -hmm. okay so let's say if you are a work permit holder spousal okay. open work permit or postgraduate work permit holder then they will ask you hey you are on a work permit how come you have your own corporation okay. okay that is one tricky question people ask even as a work permit holder you can still have your own corporation but in that corporation there should also be somebody who is a pr or a citizen okay so okay. if recruiter asks you uh, the same question hey uh, you are on an open work permit holder how come you have your you can say that uh, in your corporation you also have your friend who is a pr or you also have your brother who is a citizen right so you can confidently say that or even if you don't have your own corporation at the point of discussion you can still say i have my own corporation mm -hmm. okay then uh, you can start creating it at the time of getting an offer but okay. then recruiters also will ask you a tricky question like if the minute uh, if they sense that you didn't did not have your own corporation they will try to ask you what is your corporation name? name. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So in such case, what you can also smartly tell is because in Canada, you can create, you need not have to have a formal name for your corporation. The okay. corporation name can be auto-generated. 
typically um, six digits or 10 digits corporation number uh, is what they automatically assign to individual number right so you can say some random six digit or 10 digit number canada corp if okay. they ask you hey shanti what is your uh, corporation name you can say oh seven three one eight five nine six uh, canada corp okay, okay. They're not going to search uh, for your corporation and the reason why they ask all these tricky questions is just to make sure you are genuinely you're, you're a genuine candidate who really has the corporation in place and they are talking to somebody who is real and somebody who is these are the ways where recruiters filter the candidates okay otherwise they can't blindly trust each and every person okay hmm. so um when we need to provide the incorporation de details, do we get any chance or they'll just ask the question? That's it. I mean, yeah, these days, uh, you know, recruiters in the process of doing their due diligence or scrutinizing the, scrutinizing the candidates, they're asking for incorporation details well ahead, even before the interview happens, right? So in such case, you can tell them, hey, I'm not comfortable providing my incorporation details now. Mm -hmm. I will gladly provide the incorporation details at the time of offer because mm -hmm. after getting the offer, I anyway have to provide my incorporation details to start the contract opportunity, right? But if you ask me now, even though I can provide, I don't want to provide uh, for my own privacy reasons. Why do you need the incorporation details now? Okay. okay. Again, if you have it, you can gladly send it. Okay. Okay. If you don't have it, then you need not have to be worried that you will lose that opportunity because that question is being asked only for scrutinizing you to you know, check the level of genuineness that you have. Okay. So if uh, if the recruiter is calling the candidate regarding full-time opportunity, there is no chance of asking this question? Or no, for full-time opportunity, they don't ask for incorporation. For okay. full-time, all you need is a SIN number. And one thing I have, one, one doubt I have, Ram. So if the, if the if the incorporation is on my name, so anyhow company is doing contract with me only, right? Yeah. Then I, I'll give details on behalf of me only. So then okay. uh, why I need a corporation? Yeah, that's not that's what I said, right? So the structure of the business is that in the corporation you cannot do with individuals. You can only do with the, the company. The other side also should be a company. And uh, right. In that company, you should be there. You should be there. Okay. You are the face of the company. Okay. If it is on my name also, okay, or I have to work, I have to show like I'm working in that company. No. No, if it is your corporation, then obviously you have to be one of the directors in that corporation. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. The reason is why they do only contract to con corp to corp instead of for individual is individuals may die, but corporations may not die. So the project, when the project is going on, what if suddenly the the, can, the person dies, right? Then the project will be at the very risk. But who will have, bear the liability of that whole uh, loss okay. if a person dies? Okay. But if it is an incorporation, incorporation always exists. You can have insurance for the incorporation. Oh, okay. okay so even if there is a, if the person dies, but incorporation exists, since uh, there is. Uh, uh, you know, if, if there is any loss to the project, they can claim the insurance. Uh -huh. But if they cannot claim the insurance of the individual for a project, okay. because individual insurance is only for him, which covers him and his family, unless he gives the beneficiary as a corporation. But again, for that, you need to have a corporation. Okay. So my entire interview process is done. So I am yet to get the offer letter. So during the background verification, incorporation comes into picture. Or no. while releasing the offer letter back? Uh, For background uh, check, incorporation has no role to play. Okay. So when it will come into picture? So I'll do it. It will come into picture because at the time of starting the. Oh. Yeah. That's, at the time of uh, starting the contract job, they okay. they have to know where they have to pay. Oh, okay. Okay. So whom mm. they have to pay. For that, they have to get a corporation name, mm. corporation tax ID. Okay. Corporation bank details. Okay. And address so that they can put in the in their system when there is a billing invoice raised, they can always pay to the cartridge. So you need these details after getting the offer and before the contract starts. Okay. Okay. 
so yeah i'm done ram so i have got nice idea about the incorporation details in canada have all the uh, queries answered yes yes all my questions are answered so nice talking to you ram. cross examine you asking some questions would you be comfortable to answer yes ram yeah okay. let's okay. say i'm the recruiter okay and you are the uh, candidate okay okay so yeah. let me start so okay. hey shanti how are you doing i'm good uh, thank you. How are okay. you? Yeah. Shanti, we have this interesting role as an Azure data engineer. So we found your profile very interesting. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, this role is only a contract role. Are you comfortable with the contract? Yes, I'm very much comfortable. Yes. Okay. And that's so great to hear. And do you have your own corporation? Yes, I have my own corporation. Uh, Shanti, but uh, you mentioned you are on an open work permit. So how come you have your own corporation? Uh, uh, mm, uh, in Canada, my brother is in uh, is in PR, so he has already corporation. So I am one of the director of his company. Okay. So, I'm part of his uh, corporation. So is he comfortable sharing his corporation details uh, when you get the yes. offer? Yes, he's my own brother, so no problem. Yeah. Would you mind sharing me what is the name of the corporation? Uh, it's 7359 uh, Canada.com. Canada okay, that's awesome. So would you mind sharing those documents to me so that I can have a quick check? Uh, I'm comfortable to share the documents, but uh, during the office stays, anyhow, it is contract role, right? So I'll be able to provide documents at that time. So right now, uh, I can I just give you the details. I can't provide you the documents. Any reason why? You can say that, uh, you know, these are all private documents, so I just don't want to, you know, give it to everyone who is asking me for job search. But if it is at the time of offer, I'm ready to share because something is happening at that time. But now we don't even have the interview happen. Mm, okay. okay. Yes. And uh, what is your work authorization? You're on open work permit, right? I'm on open work permit. Do you have the SIN number? Yes. Okay, good. Yeah, so then what I will do, Shanti, is I will uh, share. I trust that you have your own corporation and it's active. So I trust. Uh, so I will forward your resume to the hiring manager. So let's hope we get an interview very soon. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's nice speaking to you, Shanti. So let's touch base. Uh, uh, tomorrow with another topic you're asking very good questions i'm sure these questions will be helpful for many yes thank you rangara i'll come up with another topic tomorrow okay.